Get everyone, it's Joe Sweeney here from Story Weaver Games, and uh, last week we had an inquiry on one of the Facebook forums for Campaign Cartographer 3 about how to output uh, tiles, battle map tiles, for your gaming map. And this is something which I do a lot of. Um, I like to print out 8 inch tiles at a resolution of either 300 dots per inch, uh, that's for printing, or alternatively, uh, at 50 pixels per inch, which is perfect for uh, virtual tabletop games. Now, if you think about what an 8-inch tile would look like, you just have to go 8, the number of squares on the tile, if you will, the number of inches on the tile, um, times by whatever pixel rate, either 300 or 50. So in this particular case, we're going to output virtual tabletop files of this Strozzy Death Dealer warship. And I'm just going to zoom into the deck that we want, so give me a second. Let's zoom into this deck here. Now, what I've done is I've already set my grid settings to be 8-inch tiles, or 12 meters. This is a starship for uh, Fantasy Grounds. It's going to be outputted for Savage Worlds. So we use uh, metric units for the design of the ships, but that's roughly 1.5 meters per 1-inch square on the tabletop map. Um, another way that you can think of that is 1.5 meters is roughly 5 foot. So this is a 5 foot increment map. Um, so by setting the grid to 12 uh, meters or an 8 inch tile, every single one of these squares that you can see here on this map is in fact, guess what, <laughs> one 8 inch tile. And I'm going to output, I've drawn a little uh, line around here to make it obvious to me when I'm outputting this where I want my tiles to go. So when we print this deck, it's going to be 11 tiles along by 6 tiles down. Uh, now, you could output this one at a time by using the file, save as, um, let's make it a, uh, a PNG file, rectangular PNG, or you could uh, use rectangular JPEG, but for now we use rectangular PNG section. Um, you would select the options, and since I want to put, output this as a virtual tabletop file, I'm going to use the width of 400. Why 400? Well, 8 inches, 8 squares across. Um, is 12 meters from our square. Um, but if we want that to be 50 pixels per um, square on the tile, and they're eight across, 50 times eight is 400. So 400 by 400 is perfect. Uh, you can set your various uh, options here, including the color depth and so forth. Uh, this will be fine for our use here. I'm gonna push okay. And if I was to go save and do this manually by saying I'm going to start from this spot here and go down one, you can see the grid snapping is working. That would now output a tile into my system, into my map folder. Now, if I had to do that by 11 tiles, by six tiles down, that's going to take me forever. So this is where the real beauty comes in. I've created a script here, a simple macro. Uh, for 8 inch tiles and uh, basically what it does is it sets a scale in this case 12 meters But uh, if you're working in feet, you can actually change the scale uh, It gives you the chance to input a title for your map It asks you where you want to start your output from and then it asks you for the number of rows and columns here and Once you've given that information the script loops through and outputs tiles automatically into a folder. Now I've hard coded this folder and this macro, you can fiddle with this if you want, um, but I like them just to always go to the same place so I can just have that sitting there on my desktop waiting for it to open. Um, it's going to output them as PNG files, which is great. Um, it makes sure that they are scaled. The correct portion of the map is then exported automatically and then loops around. Uh, I also will show another macro here. I'll send that out on the, I'll post that on this post, which does the same thing, but for letter sized pages. And basically that is an eight by uh, 11 inch map. So you can actually print these out uh, at a different scale as well. So that's the macro. Now let's actually output this and see what happens. The first thing we need to do is load Mac, which is load a macro file. Then what you'll do is it'll uh, look in your campaign cartographer um, program fo folder. Uh, by default, it'll look for the um, standard set of macros. I want you to load in this new macro. To create a macro, I'll just show you. You basically uh, create a file. I use Notepad. 
there we go, there's the notepad file. Um, and then you make sure that when you save it off, it is saved off whatever name you want. I'm using JS2, because this is my second macro file, .mac. And again, I'll put a link to this file for you uh, guys so that you can also take it and play with it and so forth. Um, but all you need to do is select it, click on open. There we go. Uh, now that has loaded in a couple of macros. The macro that I want in that was called eight inch tiles. And as soon as you type that in, it'll ask for the name of the tiles. I'm going to call this Strozzi. Oh, actually, we're going to make sure that we know what it is. So I'm going to say it's High Space Strozzi Death Dealer Warship. And I like to put a dash at the end of it because when this saves off, it's going to iterate through the row and the column numbers. It just makes it easy. Uh, and then you just simply push uh, Enter. It asks you where you want to start at. That's why I draw this little box around here so I know where I want to start. The number of columns I've already counted off is 11. The number of rows is six. And off it goes. Now, you can't see this on this screen here. I'll try and bring it over. Uh, no, no. Okay, I've got the script running on the other screen here. But if I open up the, uh, uh, the folder here, uh, let's just change the view of that to be a little bit more condensed. Okay. you can see it is just absolutely screaming through this and creating eight inch battle map tiles that you can use on your tabletop. Look how fast that just zips through them. And I'll even open up one of these so you can get an idea of what that's going to look like. Super simple stuff. Really, really easy. So that's how you quickly, um, I can't actually keep up with the speed it's going at. Um, so that's how you create eight inch tiles. Draw your dungeon. I also suggest that you set up guidelines for your maps um, so that you know where the doors will sit uh, by average on an eight inch tile and so forth. But plan your map around eight squares by eight squares. And then you can use this macro just to quickly go through and output the whole lot. You saw how quick that was. Um, I'm just going to go and close my preview plane. Bingo, there's all your eight inch tiles outputted, ready to go. So there, yeah, that's a quick, uh, a quick tip. Uh, it involves making sure that uh, you calculate what is the pixel size of the, of the output for each of the tiles, pre-setting that before you run the macro, and then just running that macro. Feel free to modify that and have some fun. Cheers guys, see you next time, bye.